We've been seeing a lot of this lately. SpaceX rocket lifting off. Well, they're either putting up satellites or putting people up. They've had almost 150 launches of one kind or another, which is something 10 years ago would have been unheard of. SpaceX and other commercial companies are in the space that was one time all NASA. How has that helped NASA and what are the challenges of working with those various companies to finding success while maintaining the NASA standard? Vanessa, the challenge, I'm sure, has been interesting as you've developed this relationship with these other companies. Oh, so Cambrell, we are so fortunate to have a, a booming aerospace industry in the United States. And um, so I, if you go back to the shuttle uh, retiring uh, in 2011, and uh, we were not able to launch again uh, from the United States for almost 10 years until SpaceX was able to do a demonstration flight. And now they have been launching our crews. Boeing is also building their capability for launching our crews. So it is super critical that uh, we have these companies be successful so that they're able to um, do the uh, astronaut uh, launches to the International Space Station. Likewise, um, we have been working with these companies over the years as well for them to have the capability to take cargo to the International Space Station. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Northrop Grumman, in addition to SpaceX, uh, has uh, the ability currently, and then there are others that are coming online to do that as well. And that cuts your Why cost, do doesn't it? It cuts our it cuts our costs, but it also allows us to focus on the deep space exploration that I was talking about with the Artemis program. Mm -hmm. We will continue, uh, and we have uh, much interest in working with these companies to make sure that their vehicles and their spacecrafts are safe. So we have engineers. Uh, we have what we call flight readiness reviews for each and every mission that we either put our cargo or, or our crew on. Uh, so that we have a good understanding that these uh, companies are going to be successful in their missions. And so we work together with them, mm -hmm. and that does enable us to be able to continue to do activities in low Earth orbit and then to have a uh, focus on deep space exploration. How now, there's also going to be companies that are going to be working and helping us with Artemis. And uh, we have companies right now today that are working on their own commercial robotic landers oh. that are gonna land on the moon. And uh, we have a company right here in Houston, uh, Intuitive Machines, and they're uh, on target uh, to be able to get their launch off uh, sometime this year. And they will have a robotic mission to the moon. Uh, along with, uh, there's a, a list of companies that are trying to do it, but uh, uh, they're one, that are as close to being able to get there very soon. Well, a lot going on, a lot that people didn't know about. In 30 seconds left, uh, how excited are you about the future of NASA and what more can be done? Uh, I am super excited about the future of NASA and of, of space uh, in general. I tell people aerospace is booming right now. If you are a young person and you're thinking of a career, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to be able to, to join us. I uh, would love uh, to be able to have you become a part of it. I love to say, Cambrell, that space is for everyone, and there is space for everyone. Very well said, uh, Director Weiss. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Best of luck to you and the whole NASA family, because your family is our family. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs>